Hi, this is lesson number seven from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about clone tool. Clone tool is used to duplicate or copy area from one specific location to another, just like a patch. Here in our toolbox, we have clone tool. I have opened a very beautiful image that is seaside with the rocks and bird. Clone tool is active. If I want to clone the area, it is simple. We need to press Alt key from the keyboard. If I will just click in my image, Photoshop is giving message that could not use clone tool. We need to define the clone source by pressing Alt key. So we will press Alt key simply from the keyboard and click on the area we want to define as a source. Let's say this bird I want to clone. So by pressing Alt key, I will click it and simply I will click and drag wherever I want. If you will observe, I have circle and then there is a plus in my screen. The plus is on the source and the circle is in the destination. And Photoshop is cloning the area in the destination according to the source point, which is plus. So simply this is how we can clone. Now we clone this bird in the same layer. The layer palette is open and you can see this is the image. It is a good idea to clone in new layer. Control Z undo. If I will create new layer, you need to make it sure here in the sample all layer is selected. In your case, it might be current layer, so it will not work. You need to click on all layer. So wherever is your mouse pointer, clone tool will detect that source sample. So even I am in the empty layer, if I will press Alt key and click, I will be able to load the area from here. This time, if I will click and drag, the bird is cloned in a similar way, but it is in the new layer. If I will switch off the background, you can see clearly. And now we have flexibility. If we want, we can resize it. We can uh, even delete the area around. We can erase it by using eraser tool. This way, switch on the background layer and it is there. So once again, I am going to take a sample by pressing Alt key. And I will just clone this way the bird. But now, once I will release my mouse and click in this area, since my source is somewhere here, it will clone the area from this place. So if you want to stick with the one sample, you need to make sure that the align is unchecked. Okay. If I will uncheck this, now again and again, Photoshop will clone the same thing. It will not change the source point. It will come back again to the same bird. If we will click here now, move tool. Now here we have four birds and they are in the new layer. Let's delete. Once again, I am going to clone. Click on clone tool. We have also clone source palette. Once you will click on the window, here we have clone source. Clone source palette is open. And here we have some more functionalities. We can even keep multiple clone sources. If I will clone from here by pressing Alt key, this is my first clone source. And once I will click in the second button here, I can define the other clone source by pressing Alt key. If I will click here, now this is my second clone. And since aligned is unchecked, I will be able to place wherever I want. This is the second. And if I want to go back to the first one, I will click here. Now the first one is this close bird. So this is how we can define multiple crown sources. And here we have flip. Okay, we can flip vertically, we can flip horizontally. If I will click this, and this time, it is making symmetry. The bird is in opposite direction. Under that, we have here a rotation. If I will add rotation, let's say 20. And now comparing to this bird, this bird is looking upward and you can see the surface is giving impression that it is a bumpy surface. So we'll click and drag. 
So this is how we can use symmetry, we can use the multiple clone sources and we can also rotate. Let's open another image. Here I have a beautiful green field and I want to remove this guy with the tractor. We will clone this area here. So in this case the first thing what I am going to do is to uncheck this and check the aligned because I want to take the source point continually and from the previous image my mouse pointer is loaded with the bird. So if I want to define area here simply I will press alt again press alt key and click to define the new source and just click and drag. If I will click and drag this way horizontally when the plus in my screen it will reach to the area I want to hide it will be duplicated again this way. There is a trick if we want to clone this area we can take the sample from here and we can go downward but you can see that in our sample still the angle is active we can make it zero and add new layer define the clone source simply once again and now the grass is in the new layer this is the part we clone here i have another image it's a beautiful cat and you can see the natural skin pattern on the face from the left eye to the right eye it is different so if we want to make it same it is possible we can horizontally flip it let's see how it works clone tool is selected we will click on flip horizontal make sure you created new layer by pressing alt key we will take the source point I will go to the other side this way beautiful and we are in the new layer before and now same thing we can use in the other image also here we have another picture and I want to duplicate this area to the other side using flip we will define the new clone source create new layer press alt key and click in this area here somewhere and you can see the center line it is not straight if I will click and drag it will be in angle so to make it straight we can rotate in minus maybe 3 okay that is fine and make sure that the flip is checked click somewhere here and just paint it even in the cloud area we can also and here we have some uh, cloud patch uh, we can fix it press alt key and click in this area here we need to fix so we can just erase using eraser tool this additional part we can erase and since it is in new layer we can use move tool and align also this way and once again also we can take new source and fix this part and here we have show our lay it's mean uh, once you will clone if I will click here and clone tool is selected and I will take the source we have here preview and if it is unchecked it will not give the preview and directly it will clone so here we have clipped clipped mean once you will take the source it will be clipped in the circle let's open this show our lay and if I will take the clone source here now it is clipped in the circle if it is unchecked it will give the whole image so of course it is not really comfortable to clone this way but if you want you can reduce the opacity here so you will be able to see the image under but I will recommend to keep the setting default clipped and show overlay it is good idea to keep it on so this way you can use different option in clone tool using clone source and clone stamp tool. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.